Welcome to Deanna Reads. My name is Deanna and I read. I am back from my vacation in Florida. It's been actually a week since I've been back, but I just kind of had a lazy week. I did, I, well, it wasn't really lazy. I was busy planning a baby shower for my BFF and my little godson, Noah. Still kind of trying to get back into the swing of life. Before I went to Florida, I was reading constantly, playing Just Dance too constantly and since I've gotten back from Florida I've been sleeping and watching The Office with my husband. Not been doing a lot of reading or Just Dance 2, which Just Dance 2 is my new exercise health kick kind of thing and it's, I'm loving it. I feel a lot healthier when I'm doing it and I really want to get back to that. But um, anyway, so I do have some books that I, I didn't read while I was in Florida. We drove to Florida, I read them during the drive there and the drive back so I will be reviewing those for you today. The first book that I finished reading I actually finished it during finished reading it during our way back or our way there to Florida and it was the last book in the Iron Fay series by Julie Kawaga and I don't think I re reviewed the other so this will be kind of a um, review on the series thus far. Three books that have come out from it. And there is a fourth book that's coming out um, October 25th, 2011. It's called The Iron Knight. But um, the Iron Fay series is basically, it's, it's about fairies. It's got the whole fairyland, King Oberon, King, uh, Queen Titania, Puck. Um, familiar fairy characters from from the Shakespeare's um, Midsummer Night's Dream and other fey myths all in, are in this book. And the first book is called The Iron King. It didn't draw me in to this series, but just so you know, I do, I love this series. I can't wait for the next book to come up, but the first book that I read from it, I just, it was kind of, I was just kind of like, oh, this is just another another person trying to hop on the supernatural wagon. I just wasn't too impressed with it. It is a really good series. You just gotta keep plugging. I kept plugging because my sister Mary was really into it and she said that it was a really good series. And also a reviewer that I watch, um, The Story Siren, she said she really loved it. I kept reading them. The second book, The Iron Daughter, that did get me into it a little bit more. But the third book is the book that really hit me, and that was The Iron Queen. And I think it's just because of um, Megan Chase is the main character in it. And I think that's just because her character was evolving all through the series. And in the third book, she just really hits the mark. There is a love triangle in the book, which kind of um, is part of the reason that kind of... Uh, drew me off of it because love triangles they've all been done there's always the dark and silent but I love him guy and the quirky best friend that you can joke around with guy and the main girl is always torn between the two but she always chooses the dark and silent I'm misunderstood but I understand him and I love him guy kind of thing and you know I guess that is kind of a spoiler there. That's one thing that really drew me off. And also, I do I am a romantic, so I did like it at the same time as a as I'm going as I'm cringing on the inside, going ah, oh, another one of these things. But it is a really good series, and I do recommend the books. If you're reading this and you're not enjoying this first book, just keep plugging. It does get better. 